Hi guys, as mornings like today you really have to take stock of the situation, you really must. Uh, I hope you guys, I really do, I hope you appreciate all the effort I'm putting in to do these videos because uh, it's, it's got, a, I, I just hope so. One leaf, man. It, I hope you really appreciate the effort I'm going to to give this an updated review. Um, I've been out since half past three this morning. It was pitch black. I've been stalking around the woods. Though it's nice and bright and sunny now, you can probably see if I shake these branches, it has been absolutely pouring down. And all for the sake to show everyone how good this little NV400 scope is and it is really good however I am absolutely soaked and you know when you suddenly have no pith in me I was in the hide waiting for the squirrels to come in and it just struck me really funny what the hell am I doing up at stupid o'clock in the morning Dressed in a ghillie suit, in the pouring rain, for you guys and for one leaf. And I, I couldn't help but laugh, I just got the giggles and I don't know if it's sleep deprivation or something. But like I say guys, um, I'm not going to do an updated review on this. I'm so, so sorry, I had loads of hunting footage on this, loads. Um, found out what the issue is it was a corrupted SD card I've replaced it I've got some awesome footage but nowhere near as much as I did have the footage I had on here was absolutely superb uh, and I'm absolutely gutted I, I've got no rat footage on here I've got uh, no footage with the other rifles I tried it on literally it is with this little crowd and what I've shot over the last three days um, and to be fair you can only shoot a rabbit or a squirrel once once that's been shot it's been shot and it's gone you can't you can't it's not like going out on a target range and shooting the same target again and again and again um, it's, it's just a shame because I had cracking footage of the squirrels getting shot unfortunately not so today but I have got some footage. Uh, the good news is the pigeons, uh, they've just drilled a field over the woods that way. Hopefully over the next few coming days I will get out on the pigeons. Uh, I might use this but more than likely I'll be using a springer. Um, and I'm going to do a wrap on this um, MV400. It's going to be slightly different from before all I can say is I'm gonna hold my hands up here one leaf uh, I apologize for the other review in a way I do and um, I followed the instructions on this scope to the letter uh, it was just unfortunate and I accept things do happen but it was a corrupted uh, SD card even though I'd formatted it, it was corrupted and it corrupted the files. Uh, let's say I've replaced the SD card. Now the following review is going to be a hell of a lot different from the one before. But there's still a few issues with this little scope. But nothing sort of on the electronics uh, side of it. So with that I'm going to go back to the workshop. I'm going to dry off. I'm going to have a coffee. And I'm going to have a long hard think about life's choices, should we say. Cheers guys. Hi guys, right, we're in the workshop. Part 2 of this review on the One Leaf Commander NV400 Eagle 2-26x50. My god, what a mouthful. However, from now on I'll just refer to this as the NV400 because I don't want to keep repeating myself with that. Because I'll forget what I'm saying. Uh, right. What can I say? Hands up guys. I gave this 
what can I say? Uh, uh, I don't know what word I'd use to describe. I wouldn't say a positive review. I wouldn't say a negative review. It was a mixed bag review. On the initial unboxing of this, uh, I was so, so happy. I've had so many highs, lows and back to highs with this little bit of kit. But, uh, I've, 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 I didn't feel my last video I did on this uh, piece of kit was fair to the kit. I wanted to give it another try and I'm so glad I did. The, the whole issue I had with this kit wasn't the kit per se. It was the fact that I had a corrupted SD card in here. The SD card pops in here. It's the one what came with the package. It's 64 gig. I swapped it out for a 128 gig SD card. I formatted it and it's working as should. Right, so I'm going to launch straight into it. What I love about this and what I think maybe. Uh, could be improved if uh, one leaf listened to me. What I love about it, well, in its entirety, just about everything. For what you want as a day night vision scope, guys, this thing has it all, it really does. It is extremely good kit as a day night vision scope. The only issue I had with this was purely the camera side of it, the recording of footage and the playback of footage. However, I realise now it was a dodgy SD card, so my first advice, anyone wishing to purchase this, don't use the one what come with it, Go, they're cheap enough, go and get yourself at least a 128 gig SD card and you'll be a lot happier with it, you really will. Uh, the clarity on this is absolutely phenomenal. I, I've got some footage to show you at the end. It was all day footage. Uh, I had night footage on here. I've, I've placed this optic on a PCP. It's been on two PC, different PCPs. It's been on a Springer with Picatinny adapters so I could mount it on there. Got to say guys uh, This is rated for the recall of a 308. Now we all know Springers can destroy Centafar Scopes rated for Centafar, but this is been fantastic. I've had no issues with that whatsoever It's been on 22LR formed absolutely superbly and it's been on 1.7 HMR, superb. I think um, one leaf has sold themselves short a little on how they say, uh, the, like, um, how far out the IR goes on this and the clarity on it. I'm telling you guys, I'm using the IR Illuminator which come with it, which is a lovely bit of kit. I love this. I wish they all came with it. When you turn it on, ah, it's not going to turn on, no battery in there. But when you turn it on, it will light up this on here, dull glow, and you'll see what strength you're uh, doing your IR. It's very easy to attach. It's literally attach this on the side or top Picatinny mount. Use this little gadget here, uh, tighten up with the allen key, then use this little gadget here to slacken off the torch. I don't know if you'll see this, but then you can adjust the uh, torch in to focus where your reticle's pointing. Brilliant idea, love that. Like I say, uh, I think one leaf would be in, um, I don't know, uh, they weren't doing themselves justice on that little unit. I could see foxes and roe deer and muntjac deer clear as day out to 200 yards plus and I, 
and I'm talking about not just like the eye shine of them, I could see full body image of it. It was fantastic footage. Uh, it, what can I say? Obviously, uh, could, you're not allowed in the UK to shoot deer using artificial illumination, so that, that wasn't done. It was on an HM, uh, 17 HMR anyway, so you couldn't do it. Foxes out to 150, it was absolutely brilliant piece of kit. I had the footage, I lost it, it was a corrupted file. So basically, all, what frustrated me the most in my last review was all about the fact that I'd lost hours and hours of footage. I've put in several days working purely with this scope and the footage is gone. The footage I do have doesn't do this scope justice, but it does show you what it is. Right, other things I like about it. I like how easy it is to adjust your near far focus. That's brilliant. I love the fact that you can put this in first focal plane or second focal plane. I love the fact that all the menu, rather than accessing like the quick buttons here, you can just click on this and you can go through the different menus. Unfortunately, for you to be able to see the menu, this is what I don't like, One Leaf. You're going to have to do something about this. This is the micro USB connector with the D connection there. You unscrew this, where, which is the, where the SD cap is. You plug this in, plug it into the computer. All well and good if you're taking the scope off the rifle, but I would suggest to one leaf to put a longer one in. It's it's for you to safely handle the rifle or to connect it to computer. This just is not long enough. You want at least a 1.5 meter length of this. You really do. The USB charging cable is a little bit longer. It's still a pain in the bum for charging uh, charging this little unit because of the length of it. Again, this could one leaf if you're listening to me. My advice: put a 1.5 meter cable in there. Or if one leaf don't do it, I mean that's something you guys are going to have to budget for. Right, I, I keep covering negatives here and there's so many good features on this I don't want to do it I want to focus on the positives this little gadget now this is your LRF and I'll take it up to the camera in here you have got a red dot laser you've got your adjustment screws top and bottom that is absolutely awesome for feral pigeons in a barn um, it, you can just use the red dot, you don't really need to look through the scope as such, you can just place the red dot on the bird and it, it will do the business once you've zeroed it in. I found the laser rangefinder on this, I found it incredibly accurate. It does meters and yards and I used my normal handheld uh, laser rangefinder and this was bob on every time. It was an awesome bit of kit. Uh, like I said, I cannot show you guys. At the end of the video, you'll see some of the footage I've got. So you're seeing what I'm seeing through the scope. But you can't see all the widgets without me hooking this up to the computer. And like I say, I, j I just can't do it, guys. Um, however, I believe... Uh, another chap in Australia has done a review on this where he is able to hook it up to his computer and you can see all the widgets and the menus and stuff. This menu is incredibly easy to operate, it really is. Uh, I'm not the best with computers as you probably gathered, but I found it an absolute doddle. Uh, one thing I will say is... is, is it's only a little gripe, even though I'm trying to concentrate on the positives on this. It's when this is connected, it'll either, this is the illuminator, it'll either go on a Picatinny on the side, or on one of these top mounted Picatinnies. 
at night time I found when you go to adjust the near far focus which you really need to do to get absolutely pin sharp focus this little cap is popped open for night time use as you come over the top as you can see my hand gets in the way that blocks out the IR so it's a case of like jiggery pokery underneath to try to adjust it on the side it's even worse because you're literally blocking out the IR in its entirety and that can be a bit of a faff to get that focus but it, it's you can live with it it's a minor gripe it really is but it's something to be aware of the other thing I touched on on my other review is it has internal batteries now these are some these are rated for 8 hour continuous use. Whether you get it or not, I cannot I cannot honestly say because I didn't turn this on and left it on for 8 hours. Uh, but the problem with, with this being internal batteries, I do not know the longevity in that the shelf life of those batteries. Uh, all batteries degrade over time and there's no that well there's no way to change out the internal batteries uh, however it does have a external battery here this is an absolute doddle to change you can just unscrew this you can pop in at the moment I've got the 50 mil one uh, 18650 type battery I've got the 50 mil one in you can put the 65 the Nippolis you can get loads and loads of replacements off them Got to say, battery issue wasn't a problem at all for me. I, it, I never even got under half a battery drained off this, so it's really, really good. Uh, the only other, it's it's not a gripe, but it's something for you guys to be aware of. If you're like me when you uh, a night shoot and you're used to turning this on and off or even daytime shoot and when you power this up it takes a good 15 seconds for you to get a, everything to fire up inside and you'll be able to feed through this and get a reticle now I found for daytime use I realise it's a night vision optic but for daytime use, if it isn't already turned on and you're live quarry shooting, that 15 seconds can be the difference between getting a shot off at your quarry or it disappearing into the next county type thing. Uh, so it's slow to fire up, but once it is fired up, or you, if you leave it on, I mean you've got 8 hours use out of it, if you leave it on, which I'd advise if you're daytime shooting, um, you won't have that issue. Uh, the other, it isn't the elephant in the room, but I've got to say it, the naked unit by itself is £2.4. It is a weighty unit. You, you add on the IR illuminator and the laser uh, LRF and red dot it's taken the weight up um, something to be aware of for me uh, I'm quite used to toting around heavy rifles and kit it wasn't an issue but it might be for someone else I mean uh, I want to address it because this might be a make or break in the sales however I, in all fairness to one leaf all the other scopes like this have weight issues anyway, they really do. Even the little pod, you'll notice that you've stuck a you've stuck an NV on your rifle. They all it, it's just one of those things you have to live with. Right. Now we come to the meat and potatoes of the things. Uh, my final thoughts on this now. Would I recommend it? Hell yes, 100%. Uh, 
If you'd asked me three days ago, uh, you wouldn't have got the same answer. However, the issue has been sorted, and I'm pleased to say this is an absolutely fantastic, awesome bit of kit. you really got to look for it, and I'm so, so sad that I can't hook this up now to a laptop and show you the clarity through this, but I can't. Uh, you will see foot, the clarity of daytime footage of this at the end of my little spiel, what I'm now doing, um, because I've, I've uh, shown you the zero top, uh, kind of me zeroing this in, and you'll see me shooting some live quarry. So, yeah, would I recommend it 100%? Uh, who, who would I recommend it for? If you're shooting 22 LR or 17 or center far, Foxen, this is absolutely tickety boo, awesome bit of kit. If you're an air gunner, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. If if you if you're a professional pest controller or you're doing lots and lots of night shooting, hell yes, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna go for yeah I would recommend this right price of it guys is 395 quid for the this unit with the LR and if you want the complete package it's 520 quid that's 20 pounds um, that is incredible value for money, it really is. It's cheaper than the competition, I've got to say. Especially if it, 520 quid for all in is, is an amazing price. I don't know how one leaf managed to do it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, a total change from a video three days ago. Uh, if I still couldn't play back any footage and they'd sent me a Duff unit. I wouldn't be recommending this. Now it's working as should. I'm more than happy to endorse this product. I really am. And guys, this isn't a paid promotion or anything. I'm, I've put in so much work on this. I really, really have to be able to get these videos out. Um, so, like I said, I wasn't shy the other day when it was when it was all going wrong I wasn't shy to say uh, I wouldn't recommend it but now if the issue is sorted like I say if you get this unit replace the SD card with 128 gig and it all will be good and a big thank you to One Leaf for entrusting me to do this review uh, I hope I've been fair I hope I've been impartial and with that guys, Jason at One Leaf, thank you very kindly for sending this to me. I'm sorry I couldn't do this scope more justice by showing the footage what you see when you look through it. But, there you go. And with that, this is going to be me signing off on this little MV400. And yes guys, if you, I'll link it in the description if you're after one of these. You'll now be getting 10% uh, off if you use my discount code. If you're in the market for a night vision device, you can do a lot worse than look at that. Uh, and especially if you get 10% off as well. So happy days, guys. Cheers as usual. Thanks very much.